Abby Glenny and I'm co-manager of the Aberdeen UK Smaller Companies Growth Trust. So one of the topics that we're getting a lot from clients at the moment is you know, what can really improve UK allocations and particularly the, the smaller company asset class, which has been somewhat unloved for recent years. And I think there are a few catalysts, which hopefully we have on the horizon. Uh, I think one of the more recent ones has been the potential for government action. So ever since we saw the Mansion House spe uh, speech, there's been more of a positive belief that something's going to come through. And certainly from what we hear on the ground as well, the Treasury have been very active in terms of gathering opinions and hopefully also gathering opinions from uh, the people that we really think should be driving this forward. So we do believe there's hope that something happens. I think outside of that, there's other dynamics that are really quite positive. I think a lot of the UK data has actually been quite reassuring. And particularly in an environment where there are challenges out there and we're seeing that across other geographies. I think another point is some of the valuation data. So in the UK overall, we are really at a lot of extreme valuations relative to history, but particularly for the smaller companies asset class, we, we really show that actually relative to UK large cap, at very few times in history, have we been this cheap when we look at a lot of valuation metrics? I think the last thing is also that markets can move quite quickly, and particularly in the smaller companies asset class, there's lower liquidity. And when we do see a turn in markets, we do see that those momentum dynamics can really start to improve and can drive markets quite quickly. Because we have had a lot of interest in the asset class over the past year or so. But I think what data would show is that there's actually been very little flow moved in. So there is hope that there is money on the sidelines waiting to make that move into UK smaller companies. In the UK, there remains a number of key dynamics moving the market, but one of the most important continues to be the macro environment, which can be quite frustrating for a lot of more stock specific portfolio managers. I think the thing that we are seeing in that macro though is that it is on an improving trend in many ways. So one of the key catalysts we were looking for in the UK was inflation to start to come down and be in a more sort of controllable level and more in line with other geographies. And I think we are on that pathway. And we've really seen that for a few months now. The, the next inflation print comes out very soon and you know, uh, that looks like it should drop off maybe even 200 bips from the last print. So I think that would be really positive. I think the other macro dynamic which continues to impact is the pathway of interest rates. And unfortunately, I think one of the pressures in the past couple of months has been that even though there's been a consensus view that UK inflation, uh, UK interest rates are peaking, that has been a positive for UK markets, but actually what has dominated is what we're seeing in the US, where we did see yields continue to increase over the past couple of months. In the past few weeks, we have seen a reversal in that, which is positive. So I think that's another catalyst that we should be looking at for changing the market dynamics of the UK. The other thing we are seeing as well is we are seeing different factors driving markets in different geographies. And through our stock screening tool, The Matrix, we can see that when we look at the different markets across the funds in our team. And what we're seeing in the UK is that actually valuation, while less of a driver than it has been, is still quite important in the UK market. But encouragingly, the best performing factor of the last few months has actually been earnings revisions and earnings momentum. So we are seeing more of a focus, we think, back onto stock specific fundamentals, how companies are reporting and what's happening to earnings forecasts as a driver of share prices. Earnings reporting is always an important driver of stock markets, but I think that's becoming more the case and that's important for us as stock pickers. What we have seen is that we've seen an improvement in the earnings revisions really since the turn of the year, and that's been encouraging. But disappointingly, the last couple of months have seen a bit of a step back. September was a bit lacklustre and actually October was a really tough reporting season, uh, not just across the UK, but actually in other geographies. And I think in the UK, the dynamic of earnings downgrades versus upgrades was actually the weakest data point that we'd seen since October 2022. Now, I think there have been certain sectors which have often dominated in that in the past month. I think industrials is has been the, the biggest challenge in terms of earnings downgrades. So we have seen some big moves in some of those, not just earnings forecasts, but share prices across the market. Encouragingly, though, when you read the data, I think a lot of it is more destocking driven than it is demand driven. And hopefully that should be a shorter term horizon problem. 
I think actually uh, a lot of the consumer data in the UK has been quite encouraging and we've some, seen some really strong reporting across consumer exposed companies. So that continues to be a positive surprise to many people, but encouraging. I think we continue to see opportunities through stock selection and portfolio construction. So we continue to believe that earnings momentum will be a good driver of share prices over the long term and we can help position the portfolio to benefit from that. I think the other thing that we are seeing as well is stock specific opportunities even within sectors. I think that's really important. I think some of the quality dynamics in terms of resilience of businesses who are really operationally managed well, who have great strategies, are really starting to shine even within sectors. The Aberdeen UK Smaller Companies Growth Trust follows a quality growth momentum process and has done for its longevity. That process has been tested through over 25 years and five economic cycles. So what environments does that perform well in and which does it find more challenging? I think one of the encouraging things that we've seen over the history of the process is that we've actually driven relative outperformance through all different market environments. So when we categorize those into strong markets above 10% per annum, moderate markets, zero to 10%, and falling markets, we've delivered outperformance in all of those environments. And I think that also highlights the benefit of quality through a cycle. What other environments are important for that style? So what's been challenging for us is the increasing interest rates and increasing inflation. So those reversing would be a positive, we believe, for quality growth style. And we've seen that through some of the historical data across markets. So falling inflation and falling interest rates, we think would be a positive environment. I think also one thing we'd like to see is more of a focus back on stock specifics rather than the market being really dominated by macro. So stock specific focus would also be a positive for us. And particularly where earnings momentum is powerful, we believe that our process and the matrix stock screening tool helps us to identify those characteristics. And what are tough environments for us? So, you know, value periods, value driven cyclical periods tend to be the toughest, but we can see that sometimes in sharp market recoveries. So often in a very sharp market recovery, that was led most by uh, value cyclical stocks. And while we take part in that rally, because of our quality growth focus, we might not be the leader in that type of environment. Now, interestingly, I think the question is, when we do see some sort of recovery in markets, what is going to characterize that? And if we look back to Q4 2022, actually we saw a sharp market rally and quality growth did very well in that period. And I think a lot of that reflects one, just the level of uncertainty that companies and the economy are facing, which in my opinion, isn't going to go away overnight. And also the level of valuations that we've got for businesses. So if we look at the quality growth space, we see that those valuations are very low relative to history and you really aren't paying much of a premium over the market, over the benchmark to have that type of exposure. So that's why we're optimistic that even if we do see markets start to recover, which hopefully we do, actually quality growth can have a really good place to play in that space. If this video has piqued some interest and you'd like to know more about the Aberdeen UK Smaller Companies Growth Trust, then please do look at our website or click in the link below. Thank you.